continuing along that thread, like let's say I'm an investor, I buy a three unit, it's got a porch. It, it, from what I know, it doesn't have violations, but it looks dated. What are some things I should be looking out for? You know, no one wants to sink money into this, but like, what are some things where I'm like, hey, this this could be an issue. I should at least evaluate repairing, replacing, et cetera. What are some like real easy gotchas for someone who isn't in the business every day like yourself? Well, normally when you see a tongue and groove flooring, that's a good indication that that porch is about 40 or 50 years old. Uh, and then I would just start paying attention to the upright columns and see if there's any type of notch columns where the, the rim beam is actually inside of the column itself. Sometimes those will be double notched. Uh, and then I would see if it's a lookout system where they're, they're resting on lookouts. And the lookout is the six by six beam that goes from the upright column into the brick wall itself, which is an older design. So normally if you see any of that stuff, and there's a bunch of other stuff that I look for, like splice columns, nine and a quarter inch treads, uh, single stringers, incorrect connections on, on the stringer to headers. So if you see a lot of that stuff, you can either – go with a full replacement or you know maybe it's repairable but most times those repairs are about 80 percent of them new so they get a little pricey all right you spoke spanish to a lot of people right there um so yeah. let me kind of go back <laughs> on a couple of those things and then let me kind of uh yeah. suggest some other ones too so <clears throat> there's a certain yeah. width of uh the that goes in from the into the building into the brick What's the width uh, that, that those, uh, I don't know if I'm using the right words, the, the space between those bars that go into the actual building? I know that that's something that. Uh, when you say bars, what are you talking about? <laughs> so what connects the, the, call it the front of the porch uh, to, to the actual, the, 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 the wall. The, the lookouts? Yes. The lookouts? Okay. Yeah, if those are six by six, normally the span of that shouldn't be, I mean, you're not only allowed to span those six feet. So those are normally spanned seven, eight feet. Um, so if those were to be repaired, you'd have to pick them up with a double two by 10, or you'd have to pick them up with a double two by 10 underneath it instead of on the side to beef those up. Gotcha. So those shouldn't be no more than six feet. And if you got a six foot porch, chances are the porch is out of compliance anyways. <laughs> All right. So there's a good one right there. So what about, um, I know one of the giveaways for me is railing height. Um, a lot of these, the railing height is, is very low. What's the railing height supposed to be uh, on these porches? Well, the international building code allows for existing conditions to last that mere to stay now. Uh, so if you already got an existing 36 inch rail, the city will allow you to just keep it. They wouldn't write you up on it, but the new porches, they require a 42 inch rail on the flat part of the deck. And on the front of the stairs, you want to measure about 32 to 36 inches from the front, front of the truck. Okay. 